In writing the novel, I wanted to take one family on one day and use their interactions to look at other things going on in society. They're each very individual characters, but they're very much shaped by the times that they live in. So on the surface of the book, you have this um, somewhat normal Thanksgiving meal playing out and you know family interactions, joking around, playing, um, people sort of uh, provoking each other in a very normal way. But underneath that, with the inter interiority of the characters and their backstory, you understand that what they each bring to that day are their own struggles with the world that they're living in at that particular moment. My favorite literature, the literature that I think is the most interesting, is generally about people who are scared of death and obsolescence. Um, I think the Olsons are very typical in this way in that each character is really struggling with some kind of fear of obsolescence. They're each struggling with defining their roles within the family and establishing their importance within the family to each other. So there's a little showmanship going on um, and the secrecy involves uh, revealing anything that would potentially make them seem weak uh, or that um, expresses the ways that they're really afraid of not being important within the family unit or the world at large. There were no conscious literary influences in terms of particular writers, except um, I've seen hundreds of plays in my life and read hundreds of plays. The book has a three-act structure or three-part structure, but it very much mimics the three acts of a play. And it takes place over the course of one day, so you have a lot of scenes that somewhat play out in real time, and that's very similar to the theater. Uh, so I would say it has a novel novelistic interiority, um, which I think I've you know, been inspired by many writers for that. But in terms of the actual framework of the book, uh, it's it's not meant to mimic sort of larger works that take place over the course of many years. It's a really isolated day. The book is told through the point of view of all of the primary characters. And what I wanted to do um, was not so much uh, privilege one over the other, but really let the reader get inside the head of each character at different times so you could understand why they might be acting in ways that from the outside to other family members or people in the story uh, would seem frustrating.